Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm here with another new indie game. This is Luna the Shadow Dust. This is something like a point and click adventure game. Um, and this is gonna be a bit of an odd video for me to make, I think, I assume. I'm only just starting now. Uh, you guys are getting the finished product. I don't know what that's gonna look like yet. Um, usually with point and click adventure games, I prefer to basically play the whole game or most of the game, or as much of the game as I can and do like a nice scripted polished review because that way it's it's a type of game where you know spoilers are a thing and I want to be able to tell people what they need to know about the game without spoiling it and also you know there's puzzles to solve and stuff and I don't want you to see me get all stuck on the puzzles and whatever um, but the creators of the game for whatever reason decided not to give uh, press keys until the game was released which was a few days ago now um, and creating a scripted review like that usually takes me at least a week. So because I couldn't try the game in advance, uh, I wasn't able to do that. And if I did it now, it, it would be too late, sort of. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do sort of a compromise, sort of uh, a bit of a, a hybrid video where this is basically a blind first look and I'll just be playing the game and, and sharing my experiences. But I will record as long as I'm able to, at least an hour or two. Um, and then sort of cut it down to the highlights so that I can skip any uh, plot spoilers and things like that and not spoil all the puzzles and stuff. And that way, hopefully, you'll be able to get a good impression of what the game is actually like uh, without me just spoiling the whole first section of the game. So let's get into it. Um, this is, uh, I am going in blind. I do not know what I'm in for here. This appears to be settings. First thing we always want to do is check the settings. Pretty bare bones. Pretty bare bones. We have separate music and sound, which is great, and we have apparently window and full screen, and that's it. That is kind of a shame. I like to see a little bit more than that, but anyway, that's what we got. Um, I guess the big button will be start. I'm, I'm all for menus that don't have text in them, more universal understanding, but when you're using symbols that are not universal, like this symbol I understand and this symbol I understand, but when you're using other symbols which are not universal, I don't know what these things are. I guess I'm going to push the big button, which presumably will start the story. Alright, so we've just had a sort of brief opening cinematic where this character, who I believe is Luna, was wrapped in a bubble in space or something and kind of gently lowered onto this planet. And that's... Am I in control now? Okay, so clicking... Is there any keyboard? Does not appear so. Alright. Uh, okay. Fo follow, follow the glowy? Glowy glow? No? Okay. Right. So there's something to do with shadows is important to, uh, to this game. I know that much. I would like some kind of indication of when I am in control and when I'm not. Honestly. Interesting. Okay. I guess that's the first puzzle done. I did it. I beat the game. <laughs> I do like the aesthetic. Oh. I think I'm not in control. Yeah, this is... I would really like some indicator. A change, change the mouse cursor or something when I'm not in control. Because otherwise I'm getting very confused about when I'm supposed to be doing stuff and when I'm not. Alright, that's pretty cool. I do like that. I like the aesthetic. Aesthetics are good. Thumbs up to the aesthetics. This mural is very cool. These look like progress bars. Oh, oh, oh! Stood still. And this happened. Oh, okay, if I wait long enough for them to completely fill in, then a musical cue plays. And, uh, they actually stay colored in. Do I have to do this? There we go, there's the musical cue. Can I run? Doesn't look like it. Slow walking speed is the, the bane of all point-and-click adventure games. Ah, okay. So I, I have to figure this out in order to progress. That's good. Alright, so we get some very different sort of things here. Touching this changed its color. Do not yet know what color is supposed to be. Well, this one's yellow. Should I change it to yellow? Here's another one. Aha! A clue! Well, that was it. 
So all this other stuff is just decoration, I guess. Okay. It was, um... What's all this other stuff for? Oh, this is killing me. Am I gonna come back? Or is it all just a... A collection of red herrings? So I can't touch anything in this room. But apparently, if I go through the doors... I can light some of these candles. And, um... I think there's a puzzle involving which door you go through. Based on the pictures. And I thought I had it figured out. I thought it was something pretty simple, but then it... It didn't work, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working on that. Guys, I've been at this for a while now. Um, I cannot figure out how on earth this is supposed to... Oh, hold on. I think I've got it. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. It was not what I thought it was. Okay. Success. Sheesh. That was more difficult than it looked, and also simpler than it looked. Oh, boy. I do have a little friend. And apparently, I have to control two two different two different folk here. Did not expect that. This is gonna this is gonna potentially complicate things. We're doing a teamwork, folks. It's very slow paced teamwork, but I think it's gonna work. We did it. This looks like one of the early puzzles in Machinarium. Pushing buttons. Okay. Did it. Did I win? Ooh. Something's happening. I feel like if my little friend can stand here, then they probably should stand here, right? Now what? Are you making cider? You might be making cider. Alright, that one was a little more complicated than I expected it to be, but I managed to figure it out. Definitely not gonna spoil that one, because it was actually a somewhat tricky puzzle. Um, I think I have just unlocked this door. I have! Success! <laughs> what do we do with you, little friend? We pop you? No. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Okay. I will say, folks, if you are, are trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle and you make some mistakes at first, I mean, all this is beautiful, but it's also very tedious to repeat and very, very slow. So, not a game for those of you who lack patience, that's for sure. <sighs> Alright, folks. Um, I've been in this puzzle room for about 20 minutes. And um, I have some critique <laughs> for this particular puzzle. It's not a bad puzzle. However, the only way to solve it is trial and error. There is no, as far as I can tell, there is no other way of doing it. And that means repeating this cycle over and over and over again. And considering about half the time spent is just waiting for the character to push the little swollen little black rabbit dude across the room, it gets old really, really fast. I have done this so many times. You do a thing, you see what happens, you try another thing, you see what happens, and that's the only way to learn what order you have to do stuff in. I am so finished with this. I'm gonna, I think I know how to do it now. I'm gonna try and finish the, this room, and then I'm probably gonna call this video done because it's been, it's been kind of tedious, my friends. Eat your porridge, you little, you little rat, rabbit. Whatever you are, shadow friend. I'm gonna push you across the room again. Oh my god, I was wrong. Oh my god, I have to do this again. Oh my god! You guys, I'm... I'm just... 
every time I think I have this figured out, I'm wrong. It is at the point now where I'm going to go consult a walkthrough, which, folks, I did not want to have to consult a walkthrough. But I cannot- this is like playing Doodle God, except you have to wait two minutes in between each combination. And I just can't anymore. I'm gonna go check a walkthrough and see what I am supposed to do here. Alright folks, I'm feeling a little bit confused and frustrated because... Uh, the way the walkthrough said to do it is the first way I tried to do it. And when I tried to do it, it didn't work. Something else happened, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I guess we'll see if, uh, if it works this time. I'm really confused right now. <sighs> You've gotta be kidding me, folks. I have been in this room for half an hour. I tried the most obvious way first, and it didn't do anything. I don't know if the little mouse rabbit dude wasn't was somehow not close enough to the vine, or if there was a bug, or what happened. But I'm feeling simultaneously, like, bad about myself, <laughs> and frustrated with the game. Well... I did record all of it, so I'll have to go back later and see if I somehow misclicked something? Or... I don't know. Let's get out of this room. <laughs> this is another beautiful room. Um, I think I am gonna do as I said before though, and just kinda call it here. Um, based on what the information that I've found, I seem to be a little less than halfway through the game. So it's not a long game. Um, especially if that puzzle that I just did doesn't derp. I would only have been playing for about half an hour. I have been playing for almost an hour. <laughs> um, so it seems like the game is probably beatable in under two hours or so, as long as everything goes smoothly. Uh, aesthetically, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, in terms of the puzzles, overall they seem to be easier than they look for the most part. Some of them require a few complicated steps, but generally speaking, there doesn't seem to be much that you can do in each room. There's actually usually only a few things you can even touch. Um, and the rest is just, you know, beautiful background flavor. Uh, so it makes the game look more complicated than it is. Um, and of course, if you either make a mistake or misclick, or whatever happened to me in the previous room, the thing is, right, there's, there's, uh, a combination of things that you could do in that room. Um, but every different possibility you have has a different effect on that vine. So it's like, if you do the wrong thing, it's not like, no, no, you've done the wrong thing. It's like, oh, this might be the right thing. And it kind of makes you think that you have to brute force your way into the right series of things. Um, so I would have preferred if there was a clearer signal when you'd done it wrong. Uh, but there wasn't. <laughs> so I kept going around and around in circles and getting very frustrated. Uh, generally speaking, the game doesn't signal very well um, what you're expected to do. It does seem to be, generally for the most part, that they are pretty much brute force, but since there's only a few options that you can do in each room, except for the previous room, uh, brute forcing it isn't that hard. It is a beautiful game. If you are very patient and you don't mind... Um, a little bit of trial and error. You don't mind just kind of poking at stuff until it works. You will probably enjoy this game. It is, as I keep saying, it's gorgeous. Um, if you're very impatient, you don't like this kind of movement speed or the potential for having to repeat yourself a lot, uh, you might not enjoy this one so much. So, anyway, this is Luna the Shadow Dust. Um, and I hope this video has been helpful and informative to you. Can I put the dog up on the chair? I can put the dog up on the chair. Let's put the dog- I say dog. Let's put the friend up on the chair. There we go. Oh! Oh my. Oh no! <laughs> well, I obviously have a problem to solve now. <laughs> what? What? Okay. I... I am intrigued. Um, I expect I'll probably finish this game. Especially seeing as how it's definitely not 
particularly long. Um, but I'm not gonna finish it on camera because I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for now and take a break. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, my friends. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. And uh, if this isn't your cup of tea and you didn't like this one, that's all right. You come back again another time. And, uh, I'll have a different indie game for you. And that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. You never know, folks, until you try it. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's me, Ira. Uh, thanks for watching my video about Luna the Shadow Dust. Regarding that puzzle that I got stuck on for literally half an hour, um, I did look through the video footage while I was editing this together and discovered that I did, in fact, do it in the wrong order in the first place. Pretty sure what happened is I was still trying to figure out how it all worked, and so I didn't realize that I was doing what I was doing until I had already kind of done it wrong, and then I, th I I just basically lost track of which one I had done previously and then did the wrong one after it, thinking that I had... I, I lost track. I lost track, basically. So, on the one hand, um, there is there is an indication of what you're supposed to do in that puzzle. It's not even complicated. On the other hand, it is very easy to lose track when you're still trying to figure out what you're doing and how to play this. And um, I think it is worth noting that when you do it wrong, the game makes you think you've done it right and that you're moving in the right direction. And none of this would be a problem except for the huge amount of time it takes to make every attempt. So it's not like boom, 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 boom. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I think I'm doing it right. No, I'm doing it wrong. That's okay, I'll try a different one. And you go like that. But because it's like, I think I'm doing it right. And then it's a two minute wait. And then, okay, that seems to indicate I'm doing something right. I'll continue down this path. And then it's a two minute wait. And it just takes so long. And that's why it gets really frustrating. So I think this, this entire setup would have been fine if, for example, the porridge bowl had been right next to the vine thing. So that you only had a very, very short... Thing. But because you have to push it the entire way across the room every time, it got really tedious and frustrating. So there's my little bit of feedback to the developers about that one. Um, overall, looking through the footage, it seems there are usually some kind of hints as to how to solve each puzzle as you go. Um, but as I said in the video, the game doesn't signal very well when you've done the wrong thing. Um, so, yeah. A little, little, little bit of one thing, a little bit of the other. It does take patience. It is a very slow-paced game, but it is also, as I've said many, many times, very beautiful. And if you have the patience, it's probably worth playing. So there you go. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to help support me so that I can do a lot more videos, uh, check out my patreon.com slash it's me, And if you don't want to, then don't.